Hey, in this tutorial I will show you how to install Ableton Live with low latency. Before you start, you better make sure that you have the installation files. If you don't have it, you uh, can download it here from their websites. You can try a, a free download to, to try it out to see if it works on your computer. So you down, start downloading your files here and while it uh, downloading you can uh, start here in uh, play on linux if you don't have play on linux you can download it from uh, ubuntu software center you just search for play on linux and uh, you install it i have already installed it so uh, we just continue so you start up play on linux and press install and here you Search for live and choose 9 or 8 and press install. And now uh, Play on Linux will create a virtual driver and we just have to wait for it to finish. So, and now uh, we have to choose the Windows set of files. So you just choose the file you download. Here is the uh, Ableton Live setup files and press next. And now play on Linux will start up the Windows setup file. So now we, uh, the setup file has started and we just press next as we will in Windows. And next again and press install. And now the setup file is finished and you uncheck this launch and press finish. Uh, remember to read this. This is important if you want to buy Ableton Live. And now you just press next. So now play on Linux and make a shortcut here. <coughs> and we are ready to run, but we don't. We go to configure and install components and search for line audio system in and out and press install and wait for it to finish so and before you start up Ableton Live you have to install Jack Audio if you haven't already installed it you just go to Ubuntu Software Center and type Jack D e and install a Jack Audio Collection Sale Kit when you've done that, you start up Jack Auto and uh, you set it up so it fits your sound card. Uh, and this is the important thing to get it as low as, as possible, but it all depends on your sound card. In my case, I have to use my, my bad sound card because I'm recording with my good sound card, but uh, this will normally be lower in my case. When you have done that, you just press start, check auto, and it should start up without no, without errors. And now we are ready to start up Ableton Live. And here we just press here, when we try, free try. And when you have start up Ableton Live, you go to option, preference, and uh, go to audio. And you can see here, it's the normal settings, and uh, this is the laser scene. It's very high. But then we choose uh, this one, and you choose Wine uh, Audio System In and Out Driver. You can see my laser scene gets very low, and it's my bad sound card. I think uh, Ableton Live is really slow and laggy on my Linux system compared to FL, FL Studio. This is really quick and fast. Um, it doesn't seem so stable, this one. But I don't know, I will show you a little hint here. Uh, if you change your auto system, uh, auto settings uh, here in uh, Jack Audio, you have to stop and start it 
and uh, Ableton Live do doesn't like that. So before you change uh, your settings here, you better choose no device, and then go to Jack Audio and stop it, and change your settings to whatever you want, and um, start it again, and wait, it. and now choose your driver again here. In that way, Ableton Live won't crash. I hope you will like this tutorial and it was some use to you. And if it was, remember to give it a thumbs up. See you again.